Hello everyone, and welcome back to Baseballogy, where we look at the current Hall of Famers and discuss their worthiness of induction. As always, I don't advocate for anyone's removal from the Hall of Fame, but I do like talking about these players and historically ranking them. And I gotta tell ya, I'm starting to get tired of talking about catchers so much. There aren't that many inducted already, and I've already hit on my fourth catcher on this list. The player we're looking at today is actually a good player, so just why does Ernie Lombardi rank so lowly? Well, let's find out. Lombardi played from 1931 to 1947, mostly with the Reds, but also had stops with the Dodgers, Braves, and Giants. Lombardi put together a slash line of 306, 358, 460 in his career, resulting in a WRC Plus of 125. Lombardi was famous, or infamous if you'd rather, for being one of the slowest players in the league, which somewhat helped his numbers. Lombardi only stole 8 bases in his career, and I want you to remember this point because I'm going to come back to it, but due to his speed, infielders would tend to play deep on him, so they'd have all day to field and throw him out. But Lombardi hit the ball very hard, which led to a lot of hits getting through the infielders, resulting in nearly 1,800 knocks for his career. His hard hitting produced plenty of extra base power as well, with 277 doubles, 190 homers, and nearly 1,000 runs driven in. Unfortunately, Lombardi was basically a one-dimensional catcher, and that dimension was hitting. He was an okay defender as a catcher, with nearly 27 runs above average defensively, but that's much closer to being average than above average behind the dish. He certainly wasn't a burner on the bases either. Those eight career steals are really standing out to me. I don't know, maybe it's because I've watched guys like Yadier Molina be slow and put up decent stolen base numbers in their careers. Molina currently has 58 steals, and equaled Lombardi's career total in four of his 15 seasons so far. Lombardi also gets hurt from a base running perspective by his double plays. He hit into over 260 of them in his career, including one year of hitting into 30. That's a lot of extra outs in his career, and certainly something that brings down his value. Now when you hear the phrase, catcher who really could only hit, what player pops into your head? Most likely it was Mike Piazza. Piazza's case I think shows why Lombardi is such a poor pick. Lombardi was a good hitter by all means, but he certainly wasn't an elite hitter, and he would have to be one in order to mitigate a lot of his relatively poor defensive value. Had he hit closer to what Piazza hit, then he would be much higher on the list. Something else that hurts Lombardi is the fact that he was not the best catcher in the game during most of his career. While Lombardi was active, there were actually five future Hall of Famers at the same time that were playing. Rick Farrell, whom we've already covered, Mickey Cochran, who played in about 700 games during Lombardi's career, Gabby Hartnett, whose prime occurred mostly before Lombardi's debut, and Bill Dickey, who was by far the best catcher in the game at that point, outpacing Lombardi in war despite playing in about 300 fewer games. It was as close to a golden age of catchers that we've ever seen, and the best players for the position of all time were just coming up on the horizon. Lombardi was, at best, the fourth best catcher out of all of those, and just like we've seen several times already, that pushes him closer to average than to elite. Lombardi definitely was a good player, and maybe because he was a catcher he should have a little bit more slack, but it's tough to call him a great pick for the Hall of Fame. Thanks for watching today's video on Ernie Lombardi. What do you guys think about his selection? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons to get updates on the next video. Tomorrow's episode is going to be about the first player that we've covered from the BBWAA. He was a shortstop and played a long time, and was named for a wild creature. That's it for this time, I'll see you next time.